so I'm trying to decide is it really even worth putting the effort and the time and the energy um, when I can't even talk about the topics of the day. Yeah, good morning everybody in uh, YouTube land. It's another cold day here in Dallas-Fort Worth. Or at least this morning's cold. It is about 37 degrees. And I've broken my 40 degree rule. For those of you that follow the channel, you know that, that my cutoff is 40 degrees. I usually just don't ride if it's under 40 degrees. And it said, when I woke up this morning, it said it was 42 degrees on my phone. That's what it said. But when I got out on the bike and started riding, I could see real quick the temperature gauge went down to 37. <laughs> so, and I tell you what, I can tell the difference between 37 and 42. It is definitely colder, believe it or not. And I know some of you have mentioned this on my previous videos. I do not have my pin lock uh, shield inside my face shield. So I do get some fogging up from time to time, especially when I come to a stop, so I apologize for that. But I'm here at uh, Einstein's in Coppell, just getting ready to head back to the house. And I've got a couple things I want to talk to you about today, a couple of serious subjects well the first thing before i get too far into it because we're coming up on valentine's day and i got a message or a notice yesterday from cardo my friends over at cardo that they're having a really uh, pretty big sale on their pack talk products and if you're in the market for a bluetooth headset and you are in a market for a cardo Bluetooth headset you might want to check out the link in the description of this video I'll put a link in the description of this video and I think they're up to 24% off uh, on their Cardo pack talk models so uh, you can check that out on their website and I'll uh, leave it at that now I'm trying to decide if I should just give up and quit let me tell you a story I have to be very careful how I tell this story I have to be very careful about the words I use and choose because I don't want to trigger some issue with my YouTube channel some of you know I have a cruise website and a cruise YouTube channel and a Facebook page and we've had that business for 20 years this year be our 20th year and basically we review cruise ships and uh, some of the cruise lines will invite us to come on their ships and do a thorough review of the ship and then we post it we do videos we do blogs the whole thing and we're supported by advertising dollars through YouTube and Facebook and Google and all that. So we just recently got back from a seven night cruise aboard uh, Celebrity Apex, beautiful ship, had a great time. And it was right in the middle of the latest variant. I'm not gonna use the name because I don't wanna trigger something and you'll understand why as I go through and tell the story so when we get back in town I'm posting on Facebook I'm letting everybody know we're back and the number one question I got since it was in the middle of this variant or the rise of this variant 
the number one question I was getting from everybody is, did you feel safe on the cruise ship? You know, did, did I feel safe or was it scary or did, you know, was there an outbreak or whatever? And I wrote a post on my Facebook page for cruisereport.com and I basically said, yes, we did feel safe. We felt perfectly safe on the ship, but not because of any specific protocols put in place, such as, I gotta be careful here. You'll have to just use your imagination. I didn't feel any safer necessarily because everybody had had a V and I didn't feel any safer because throughout parts of the ship guests were required to wear an M on their face and that I felt safer because the ships have uh, implemented a lot of uh, sanitation protocols they have hand sanitizers everywhere you look every elevator lobby has hand sanitizers before you go into every restaurant you wash your hands you know I that that and uh, you go through the buffet the crew members are serving you the food you don't have a thousand people grabbing the utensils and touching everything so it's much more sanitary and cruise ships have been doing this for quite some time so I was just explaining that I didn't feel any safer because of these new measures that uh, cruise lines are requiring and in part they're requiring them because the government is kind of outlined these requirements and I explained why those didn't make me feel any safer because in spite of those protocols where everybody has had a V or two V's and in some case three V's that those V's don't stop the spread and the science shows that you can get and or give to other people the problem <laughs> I'll just say it that way. Anyway, long story short, let me get back to my Facebook post. So I post all this on Facebook. And uh, within a couple of days, Facebook pulled my post. And when they pulled my post off Facebook, they said that my post could be dangerous and cause physical harm to others because I'm, I'm giving misinformation. Now, I'm under no illusion that we live in a country that has freedom of speech. I'm under no illusion of that. I know that, that, that's been gone for several years now. And that's why I'm being very careful in this video of what I say. And not only did they uh, pull my post and give me a warning, but they, they warned me that if I do this again, I could lose my Facebook channel. My Facebook page, I should say. So, I'm trying to decide if it's even worth continuing on with that channel and with that business. Um, because, and people say all the time, well, you shouldn't even be bringing politics into, you know, your cruise reviews. But let me ask you a question. This is the topic of the day. When it comes to cruise travel, it is the topic of the day. So, yes, I can say, okay, I'm not going to talk about these issues but this is what everybody wants to talk about because it's dominating the the news cycle so unless you're willing to 
about the narrative that's accepted. Oh, and by the way, there was nothing in my post that has not been said by the authorities, so to speak, I guess. I'm trying to trying to say this diplomatically so I don't get in trouble. I, I've got, I don't know. I, see, I, I don't even like having to not be able to tell you what I want to say. I don't like the fact that I can't just get on here and explain this situation to you, but I'm just trying to decide if it's even worth keeping that channel or that business, that entire company. You know, when the cruise industry shut down, we lost all of our customers. We lost all of our advertisers on that website. Obviously, the cruise lines weren't going to advertise when they weren't selling their ships. So, this year, or this last six or eight months, we've been back cruising. We're basically starting over from scratch. We're trying to rebuild our business. And I didn't get any PPP money. I didn't get any government grants or government loans or whatever they were offering a lot of these businesses got. We just, we went from having uh, two businesses that were generating revenue down to Cruise Man's Garage, which is my uh, primary and only source of revenue right now. So I'm trying to decide, is it really even worth putting the effort and the time and the energy um, when I can't even talk about the topics of the day? Because if I share my opinions and my thoughts and my views based on my research of the science, based on my research of the data, um, I run the risk of getting shut down anyway. So, I've posted some of this information on our website, but I do run the risk of shutting down our advertising on that website. I'm not, I'll edit out that word I just used because I don't want that to trigger something. So forgive me if I'm being very vague <laughs> and maybe trying to leave you a trail of breadcrumbs so you can kind of figure out what I'm trying to say without me just coming out and saying it. Now I wish I had that pen lock. Man, that sun is bright in the morning heading toward the sun. That is brutal. And it is 39 degrees right now, I just noticed. So, I don't know, have you, uh, if you have any thoughts on this topic, you know, I, I'd appreciate your thoughts in the comments down below. I know it has nothing to do with motorcycles, it has nothing to do with this particular business, and it has nothing to do with Cruising Man's Garage, right now anyway. And, um, uh, I just think it's sad that we, we live at a time where uh, we've lost our one of our basic uh, freedoms and, and and it's it's just it's disheartening and it's depressing it's kind of depressing so I'm uh, I have to be careful what I say on this channel I've I've made comments on this channel innocently about topics and I've had people jump my shit on it. It's hard to believe, but it, you know. And everybody says, well, you know, you gotta leave leave politics out of it. Leave politics, well you can't. I didn't politicize this. It's not my fault that <laughs> you know, politics got drug into this nightmare. So, I don't accept that. I, it shouldn't have anything to do with politics. I'm not making it political. So, put your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, I would love to know what you think about this, or if, if this even makes any sense. I don't know, I've been so vague and cryptic, you may not even know what the hell I'm talking about. 
But anyway, normally we talk about things that have to do with motorcycles, and if you're passionate about motorcycles, I'd appreciate you clicking that subscribe button down below and that little notification bell so YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos. And if you liked this video, I don't know why you would, but if you did, if you liked this video, please click that uh, thumbs up, that like button. That really does help our rankings with YouTube. And uh, I don't know, by this time next week or next month, I may only have one, I may only have one YouTube channel. Because um, I just don't know if it's worth, uh, I just don't know if it's worth anymore. I don't know if it's worth doing anymore. I, it's, uh, that really took, that really took the wind out of my sails when I got that uh, post pulled from Facebook from what I thought was fairly innocent comments and some views. I, I was very, very, I was even very careful what I said in my post, but you can't deviate, you cannot deviate apparently one millimeter from the accepted narrative of what they consider misinformation and it's uh, it's real frustrating it's 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 um, scary is what it is I can't see shit by the way and I guess that's just about it this week I've got some new videos that I've already got edited and almost ready to go um, the problem is the supply chain I've got a couple of reviews of products that I'm pretty sure as soon as I release the reviews <clears throat> they're gonna get a ton of orders for these products so I wanted to make sure from the manufacturers that they had the inventory to be able to fill the orders because tip typically when I review a product especially if it's a product I like but typically when I do a product review video, the uh, <clears throat> manufacturers will get a lot of orders or a lot of inquiries. And in the past, we've had situations where you guys just hit these people with a ton of orders and they can't fill the orders. And now with all these supply chain issues, I've been getting emails from these suppliers saying don't put out the video yet because we're waiting on inventory to come in or we don't have enough inventory to cover the demand. <laughs> and it's a real issue right now. This supply chain thing is, I could talk for an hour on that. So. I have videos ready to go. I've just been waiting for their inventory and their supplies to get up to level to a level where they can uh, fill the orders. So I promise you, soon you will have some new videos coming with some new product reviews, and a couple of them are pretty cool. So anyway, thanks again for joining me today. I know I've said this, you know, already, but if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and. Man, I am cold. It's 38 degrees now. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. You guys ride safe out there. And stay warm. <laughs>